need to the for functional group test organic compound functional group test uh, that is the bar reagents that is the uh, used for unsaturation and that is a sodium bicarbonate that is used for carboxylic acid group and uh, ferric chloride solution is used for aromatic alcoholic group and this is a 40 percent NOS you need to for ketone group sodium nitroposide and meta dinitrobenzene that's what need for ketone uh, ketone group and that is a failing say and failing B solution uh, for aldehyde group and we need to prepare a freshly prepared tonic reagent also for aldehyde group for functional group first we need to do the physical test like uh, your, your sample is a soluble in water in liquid state or solid state and the smell or order you have to return and after that I have taken a fresh sample so now we will go for Bear's test just add few drop of Bear's agent you can see that K104 color is not changed that means your, your sample is saturated if your compound or sample is unsaturated then it will dis discolor the K104 so no color change that means that your sample is a saturated sample Now we will go for carboxylic acid group. Now I am taking a carboxylic acid, uh, carboxylic acid sample. Just add few drop of sodium bicarbonate. Yes, you can observe that the bubbles is evolved. You can observe that bubble. The bubble is evolved. That means your sample have. Yes, you can you can observe that your bubble is evolved. That means your sample have carboxylic acid group. Now we we'll, now we will go for alcoholic group. For aliphatic alcoholic alcoholic group, we need a ceric ammonium nitrate. But now we don't have the ceric ammonium nitrate. So we will go for the aromatic alcoholic group, just add few drop of, just add few drop of ferric chloride, yes, you can observe violet color is indicate that your solution or your sample have the alcoholic group, the aromatic alcoholic group. We will go for the ketone group, just take a kit, just some take a ketone sample. Then add, it's need a highly basic medium. Just add 40% NaOH solution it. Now you need to add one drop of sodium nitroposide. Just one drop. Don't make it excess. Just one drop. Yes. It is a color of red wine color. You can see that is a red wine color. So red wine color indicate that your sample have the ketonic group. Now take if your sample have the ketone group uh, confirm on sodium nitroposide, then you have to go for M dinitrobenzene test also. Just add few drop of a highly uh, NOH solution. And add meta dinitrobenzene salt directly in it. In it. Yes. You can observe that is a violet color, and this violet color indicates that your sample has the ketonic group. So, first you have to, for ketonic group, you have to first do sodium, uh, sodium nitroposide, and after that, if sodium nitroposide gives the positive result, then you have to give the Meta dinitrobenzene also. If you did not find any color in sodium nitroposide, then you will not bound to get get test for meta dinitrobenzene also. Now we will go for the aldehyde test. For aldehyde test, I take a sample. I am taking an aldehyde sample in both test tube because we need to do 
फेलिंग्स टेस्ट एंड एज वेल एज टोलेंस सो फॉर फेलिंग्स फॉर फेलिंग्स वी नीड टू फेलिंग इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ फेलिंग्स ए एंड फेलिंग्स बी सोल्यूशन वी नीड अ पिक्चर्स ऑफ इक्वल अमाउंट ऑफ फेलिंग्स ए एंड फेलिंग्स बी सोल्यूशन सो जस्ट फर्स्ट पीपेयर इट इज दैट इज अ मिक्चर्स ऑफ फेलिंग्स ए एंड फेलिंग्स बी Now just add up fillings A and fillings B in your sample solution. And another case too, you need to freshly prepare a toilet reagent. For toilet reagent, you need to one to two and one to two ml of silver nitrate solution. Then you have to add few drop of dilute NaOH. Yes, you can observe that is a brown PPT is formed. After that, you need to add one to two drop of concentrated ammonia. Just see that your solution is clear solution, and this clear solution is a Tolerance reagent. So now we have got the tolerance reagent. Now add this tolerance reagent in your sample solution. So in one test to one sample solution, we have added the mixtures of Felix A and Felix B, and another another solution we have added the tolerance reagent. Now we have to heat it in a water bath. And make sure don't directly heat it. You need to organic compound always heat on water bath. it need some time to form we have got that silver mirror so that is confirm that our sample our sample have the aldehyde and for pairing wait for some time so for the aldehyde for filling states it will be the brick red almost brick red color so that's indicate that your uh, sample have the reducing aldehyde 